So this uh, board short is about engineering and scientific notation. Um, so we're going to learn what engineering and scientific notation are, how to use them, and properly use the metric prefixes uh, for numbers. We use engineering and scientific notations to talk about really, really large numbers and really, really small numbers. Um, engineering notation is scientific notation, but scientific notation isn't necessarily engineering notation. So let's learn what the two things are, um, get a couple uh, rules and examples, and then we'll work a couple board, uh, uh, numbers up here on the board about that topic. So here are the rules. All right, so here are the rules. Scientific notation. Uh, scientific notation expresses the value as a power of 10 so that the numeric part is somewhere between 1 and 10. Uh, we use the format of capital N times 10 to the nth. Uh, where capital N is a number somewhere between 1 and 10. Uh, we're allowed one decimal place, one integer, one uh, uh, digit to the left of the decimal. Uh, to the right, we're allowed as many as we need so that we maintain the significant figures of the original number. Uh, the exponent, the 10 to the nth, that small lowercase n, is the value of... Uh, of the number of times that you had to move the decimal uh, to express capital N in the format we just discussed. Uh, it can be positive or negative if you have to move the decimal to the left it's a positive number if you have to move it to the right it's a negative number. Now as we discuss engineering notation engineering notation is scientific notation except it has a few other variables um, we're allowed to be somewhere between 1 and 1,000 now for our capital N. That means that we can have as many as three digits to the left of a decimal. And then as many as you need to the right to maintain significant figures. Um, the exponent now is the number of times you need to move the decimal, but we have to move it in groups of three. So that exponent will be a multiple of three. And again, it can be positive or negative. So we have two numbers we're going to go to the board and look at. Uh, let's uh, do that now. All right, now that you know the rules, I listed up here two numbers. Uh, 31 uh, million, 700,000, and a really, really small 57 point, uh, 0 0.00000574. Very small number. We're going to write these in scientific notation, engineering notation, and metric uh, prefixes. I've made a list here of the metric prefixes for us. Uh, we will figure out what those mean when we get down there. So let's begin with scientific notation. Now we learn that the number, the last number, is only one number to the left of the decimal, and it has to be greater than 1 and less than 10 which would be one number less than one number to the left of the decimal. So if we look at this number, uh, we would take the decimal place over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times to end up with the number 3.17 times 10 to the seventh power. That's scientific notation for the 31... Uh, million seven hundred thousand number. For this number here, again, we're going to end up with 5.74 because we know we only get one number to the left of the decimal. But how many times do we, and it's a times 10 to a number. How many times do we move the decimal? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 10 to the 6th, but since we moved it to the right, it's negative 6. Okay, let's check that again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is scientific notation. Engineering notation, you have to have your exponent a multiple of 3. So you can have more than one, de well, one, more than one digit to the left of your decimal. So let's look at this. Uh, let's just go ahead and write down 317. We maintain the same significant figures. That's why we're maintaining those digits. The zeros are not significant figures. 
uh, times 10, and we have to now count in threes. One, two, three. One, two, three. So 31.7 times 10 to the sixth would be the engineering notation for that number. And here, 5, 7, 4 times 10 to the, and we see up above it is already a multiple of 3, so negative 6 is the same number, 5.74 times 10 to the negative 6. Now how do we write this with a metric prefix, which is really how we do it in electrical engineering? Um, we would take that times 10 to the 6 and times 10 to the negative 6 and come over to our metric uh, number, we would write 3, 1.7, we would write 5.74 uh, times 10 to the 6th. Here's our times 10 to the 6th. That's meg. Mega. Mega, whatever the unit that number is in. And the negative 6 is this U with a little extra tail on it. It's a micro. And so there you go. That is how you work out those problems. So there you, that's engineering and scientific notation, and I hope you learned a little bit on that. Please go ahead and make comments below. Um, and again, we're going to move forward and, and get into more difficult stuff, but we're starting at the very beginning. Thank you, J-Pillar Board Shorts.